A lot of people have been requesting a Gramercy vlog tour if you are on my Snapchat or Instagram. So I thought I would do that, but I thought I'd also vlog my day. So I thought I'd take y'all with me also. We also look get into the hair. Call me the second part of Chloe and Haley. I thought I would really spruce it up and do something red. But I'm gonna take you guys with me for my screenwriting class. I have to read the rest of the scripts that everyone else has submitted, and I have literally 10 minutes before the class starts. Hi, so this part of the vlog. I'm basically doing a screenwriting class and we do workshops. So we everyone submits like 50 pages of their paper and then we all read it and give thoughts. I also had to watch the apartment a couple of days ago. That was fun. I thought it was cute. Billy Wilder is one of the greatest screenwriters of all time so it's good that I get to know it and I've just been really into screenwriting lately if you guys see my posts about my internship I've been doing a lot of reading scripts discussing scripts writing scripts scripts is just my life right now and it's great because it really gives you this creative freedom that you don't in acting a lot of you guys know me from my acting but I just love the freedom of being able to write scripts so I'm gonna do some reading and stop talking because my class starts in four minutes Yes, okay, so I this was like a really small formatting thing, but I felt like it might be helpful for what we've kind of been talking about, but like maybe if you describe the characters a little bit more on their introduction, I feel like that would have given me more of a sense of their individual styles and their backgrounds. Um, I need to know like their problem, I need to know their, I need to, to be individuated so I can care about them separately. Yeah, that's a great point. And two that I kind of made in different ways. I feel like it's a little bit abrupt, if you know what I mean. Like, like there's no really context, like to, um, to like why she's saying that or why the mother. I'm now making myself some food. I found out not only did I come to class late, but I also have 30 pages due. So this is really cute. So if y'all want, if y'all want a little grand tour moment. Let's get into it while I'm on break for my class. Okay, here we are. This is Graham. I have a little kitchen and this is really nice. We have a dishwasher, um, a stove and an oven so you can bake things. I moved my dresser out and then we also have this little common area. It's so nice and it's so spacious. I come out here sometimes to work. And this is my suite. Okay, yeah, excuse the fact that like my room's dirty. I literally clean this all the time. But you know what? Let's just get into it. Um, this is my desk. I, you know, keep my stuff here. That's my bed, it's not made, so I'm not gonna show you that, but I will show you my view. Look at that. This is my view. I'm on the fourth floor. It's so nice, the windows are so big, and they let in so much light, which is really nice because we have no overhead. Um, this is my second desk because I don't have a roommate. So this is where I put some of my stuff. We have, you know, these three drawers, and that's my bed. That's kind of a mess. And we have this little mirror that's super cute. So, <clears throat> hey y'all. But yeah, it's just such a cute, big, spacious dorm. I love it. I love my room. I love my setup. I want to see my books. Um, I love my books. Okay. So, yeah, it's a little grand tour. I'll show you guys the bathroom. Yes, this is a bathroom. It's so spacious. Look at this. So nice. It's so big i love the little tiling on the bathroom and i love these mirrors i literally can't get the whole mirror in the video but it's so cute it is so nice i'm obsessed with it so yeah we have not that many hooks but we have some hooks here 
We also have a pantry in there, but like no one used the pantry. Also, you guys, I don't know if you guys can tell, there's so much cupboard space. So yeah, this whole place is just so nice. Ow. Looks so good, y'all. Get that protein. So, um, I was supposed to like take you guys with me to go to my second class, which was supposed to be in person. I was gonna show you this cute little garden. It would be cute, right? Well, we didn't leave because it's raining outside, so we are scheduled to be inside, which is fine. I get to do the rest of my work because she also let us out of class two hours early to watch some documentaries that I'm totally going to watch. But I am also am going to work on my screenplay because it's due this evening. But I'm so hungry right now. I am so hungry. Also, I really have to pee, but my sweet mate's in the bathroom, so I can't go. But I really have to pee, so I think I'm gonna go to the deli, maybe get some ketchup, because um, I like Grubhubbed a bunch of convenience store stuff because there was this like twenty dollars off thirty dollars spending, so which was like so cheap. I was basically getting thirty dollars worth of stuff for ten dollars. Okay, okay. So that is what I did. I used that for Grubhub, so I'm ordering that. So I'm getting like hot dog buns i mean hamburger buns and cheese but i forgot to get ketchup so if i don't have ketchup right now i'm going to go to the store and get some and i'm gonna make myself a little cute beyond burger it's gonna be so cute and then we're gonna get back to work i'm also thinking of doing some yoga hence the yoga mat because i i think i've been trying to get myself more exercised because i've been staying in a lot so that is basically the plan you guys are gonna see me i've literally been pacing back and forth right let me show you let me show you up so this is my script this is a script that i've been working on and it's driving me insane i've rewritten it so many times but my issue is just certain parts of my character aren't making sense and it's because i haven't figured out who my character is and what she wants and the important parts of the plot that really are necessary to make a screenplay work so i just know everyone's gonna be on me about that but it's okay i have to finish writing it so yeah Ow. okay so i do this thing i like to term instinctual yoga i literally made it up but it basically means that i basically follow whatever feels good for my body i just kind of do what feels good i stretch it out you know what i mean and i just you know this Okay, good morning once again. Um, I decided to vlog another day. I didn't vlog that much yesterday. I was doing screenwriting and I also just did trades and tracking for my internship, which basically means we go through the news and we track the news of movies, distribution, production company deals, award ceremonies, festivals, and we get the hottest news for our bosses and we kind of compile it all into an email with cute little headlines and we send it off to the entire company. So I also also currently have two scripts to read today that is what I'm starting to do today I'm gonna to really try to get through both scripts today I'm also gonna do some yoga um, so yeah that's a little rundown of my day my hi okay so I just finished doing some of my work I did some yoga felt so good so freaking good and then I read this pilot I just want to tell you all about this pilot that I read it was so brilliant it was so funny and every single dialogue was just scathing and smiling and clever and there's just something about reading a good script that makes your heart feel good it makes you feel excited inside and it makes you excited because we read so many scripts for this internship and I think just in general I read scripts for my class I read scripts for my internship I read my own script but seeing something like that really just inspired me to work on my script to work on my world building and to also not give up and I shoot my shot so I emailed her and mentioned how I would love to be able to work on the set of the script if this ever gets made I also I've been doing a little bit of journaling like sex in the city insert clip here I started to wonder and I wondered which led me to wonder I had to wonder I started to wonder. I couldn't help but wonder. I couldn't help but wonder. I couldn't help but wonder. I Basically over like my love life and dating in New York City because it really does feel like sex in the city sometimes. There's so many questions. There's so many variables and I'm constantly exploring and learning new things about myself and about men. So I, I, I decided I'm going to keep a journal for the rest of my few weeks here. Kind of like denotating all the things that happen and all the questions and doing it in like the style of Carrie Bradshaw. I've just been obsessed with sex in the city. 
for the last two three days i have literally watched almost four seasons in less than a week so that just shows you how much i am hooked if i would could say i'm like one person i would say i'm a mix between miranda and carrie like i love the writing and the curiosity of carrie but i'm also very cynical and judgmental a little bit when it comes to men not to my friends but when it comes to men so yeah that's it i'm gonna go eat to be honest this is what my days look like i stretch i try to clean i'm gonna do more of my hair i watch movies i write i read scripts so yeah hey guys it's your mermaid marie here i am getting ready to go out um so i don't know if you guys saw the last clip but there are just times during the day that i start to feel a little depressed and i feel like i feel, talk about depression a lot on this channel and i actually want to continue to be more open about that because depression for me isn't something that's like 24 7 it's more like phases so like i might go through like a couple of hours where i'm really motivated and i work really hard and then something happens and i just feel really down so and i think that's what makes this some of these moments more memorable um i realized that i'm really hungry and at first i didn't really want to do the work to get myself some food i was like i don't have enough money i don't really have anything i want to eat and i don't want to go out but then i realized like this is a moment that it's actually more important for me to go out it's actually more impressive if i can continue to take care of myself while i'm feeling this way because it shows myself that i still care about myself regardless of how i feel so i will be going out i'll show you guys a little bit of the area that i'm living in now and i just think this all adds to the realism of what it's like to spend in new york city because you spend a lot of time alone i was supposed to go out today but i ended up like having to push it off because i was doing work and and then after i ended up not being able to go i felt depressed and i didn't feel like i could do my work so i just know that once i eat see a little bit of vitamin d the sun is setting i will start to feel better so yeah Welcome to where I live. This is the Gramercy area. It's very cute, very quaint. There's tons of cute bars and stuff to look at. So yeah. There's something about every single moment when I step outside into the actual sunlight that I begin to feel better. And just seeing the sun setting and people and the world lets me take a deep breath and know that everything's okay again. I'm just walking to the deli. I'm romanticizing my trip to the deli, okay? It's not that serious. It was never that deep, but I will make it that deep because that's what I do, so yeah.